As a startup entrepreneur, you are naturally quite busy and you might be looking for some help. On the other hand, budget might be tight and that is why a good solution could be a virtual assistant. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao and I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. I'd like to help you to become a better leader so that your startup is becoming successful, you will grow steadily and you will have less sleepless nights. If you like the content of this video, feel free to give us a like and to subscribe to this channel by pushing the uh, subscribe button underneath this video and don't forget to switch on the bell so that, uh, that you're not missing any news. Many entrepreneurs are looking for help, especially on tasks that they might not want to do themselves or where it does not, or where it does not make a lot of sense to do them uh, themselves. And a more and more popular concept to get this help is the virtual assistant. Now, what is a virtual assistant? A virtual assistant is somebody who supports you with certain tasks and who is not in your office, who is somewhere remote. Here in Germany, we use quite a lot of support from Eastern Europe, for, exa for example. My virtual assistant is from Bulgaria. I'm very, very happy with that a cooperation and she helps me quite a lot and gets a lot of things off my back. Now the question is how do we work effectively with a virtual assistant if the person is not in the office on a daily, per on a daily basis and how can we make this cooperation a success. Now, principle number one is only delegate tasks that can be standardized. That is very, very important so that you can describe them well and that, you know, you don't have a different uh, challenge or a different uh, setup of the task every time you're asking for help. Now, very, very important is that you then describe the task, that's point number two, very, very clearly in written form, also verbally. Point number three is that you ask the virtual assistant to play back her or his understanding to you so that you make sure that your assistant has actually clearly and well understood what you meant. That is even more important when you are working with an assistant with whom you do not share the same mother tongue. So for example, if you're uh, American and you're assistant is from say Romania you clearly do not have the same mother tongue so it's extremely important to have this playback session and that is point number three. Point number four is that you look for the best value for money so there are so many agencies on virtual assistants you just have to google a virtual assistant and you will immediately stumble over some 20 agencies that you can actually use and you can choose the best value for money. Maybe you also have to try and test a few and go for the best one. I was actually very, very lucky. I uh, used an agency from Berlin here in Germany and the first, a the first assistant that I started working with worked fine. But you know what? It is not the assistant only. It, it depends a lot on you and how you steer your assistant and how you work together. Now, the first points are very important. The, this last one is probably the most important. That is you have regular meetings with your assistant and when uh, he or she comes back to you and you talk about the work results and it is not quite uh, what you wanted, you introduce corrective action and you explain how you actually want that. So that is extremely important because your virtual assistant can't read your mind. There are quite a few entrepreneurs who think, okay, I just throw it over the fence and the rest will go automatically. No, it won't. You do it and then you see what is the result and then you correct it 
if needed. And I can tell you one thing, your virtual assistant will be very, very grateful because he or she will not be obliged to guess what you meant and what the result should be. So that's the last important point that you regularly communicate with your assistant. You introduce corrective action together with her or him if needed and you develop your virtual assistant into something like an alter ego. That is always my vision for my work that my assistant and I have done this with all my excellent assistants so to speak uh, that I made them my alter ego so everything that I did not need to think about they did that for me and in today's virtual world it is very very easy to imply that that was about how to use a virtual assistant effectively if you want to have more tips, tricks and tools and methods about successful leadership as an entrepreneur. If you want to manage the complexities of your business better, if you want to sell more, sell more profitably, treat your team in a more effective way. The LIFE program is actually the program for you and you will learn all these methods in a few weeks. If you're interested, feel free. To apply for a free consultant session with consulting session with me by clicking on the link underneath this video. Alternatively, just write me a WhatsApp. The number is on the screen right now. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up or share it with your community. This was Armin and Rao from Alan and Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.